and welcome back. This is episode two, episode two, little equals to mighty folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love and the support, all the views of the first video. This is the video number two, number two. Oh yeah, number two. Back is Monday. It's Monday, Monday, Monday. This is a little Monday motivation for my mamas out there. Oh, Monday motivation for my mamas out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 All right. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you're seeing this, mummies, this is a little motivation for you this morning. Um, thank you so much for um the first video the first video all the loves on the first videos guys um just want to say thank you thank you for all your views and the comments and subscribing and the liking and uh, thank you for the encouragement as well some things weren't on the channel but they were sent to me personally just want to say thank you for the encouragement and uh, i'm going to do my best to to just keep on keeping on and giving giving you guys what was given me on my heart i am your host today. Um, my name is Nicole, mother of six little acorns. I am a homeschooler, I am a homemaker, I am a businesswoman, I uh, am a wife. So um, you'll find lots of things all motherhood, parenthood, um, children, especially child um, child development and character building. Right, last week I said that this week would be on correcting your mummy mindset. All right, so without further ado, let's just get into it. We have three, three things, not, not only three things, but three things that I can think of that really affect your mummy mindset. All right, so number one is comparison. And they say comparison is the thief of all joy. So I'm gonna tell you that comparison is the thief of your joy. If you keep comparing yourself to any other mum, the one who has it all together, the one that has the nice home, the one that has the finances, the one that has an amazing husband, the one that has the grass is greener on the other side, whatever it is, if you keep comparing yourself to that person, you will continue to make yourself feel like you are nothing, you are less than. Comparison will steal your joy because you'll be ungrateful for the things that you yourself have. Um, you don't know what it took for her to get to that level. You don't even know if she actually has it all together. When she's outside, she might look like she does, but maybe she doesn't have it all together. Everyone has skeletons, as they say, in their closet. But um, let me give you um, this scripture. Second uh, Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12. We dare not class or compare ourselves with some of the people who advertise themselves in measuring themselves against each other and comparing themselves with each other. They are simply stupid. Not my words. <laughs> Bible. 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 So don't go comparing yourself to others or like other people do. The only thing that you should be doing is comparing yourself to yourself. Are you a better version than you, of yourself than you were yesterday, than you were this time last year? Always be trying to better your own self. Number two is community. Now community has the power to make and break us. Um, you know, no man is an island and we are brought up with family who we, we don't get to choose. And then we have people that we do get to choose as part of our community. Now these people, as I said before, have the chance to help us um, make something for ourselves or they can also help us to break the person that we're supposed to be. Um, a lot of the time when we want to break out of that circle of sameness, um, people that are also comfortable with where they are we make them uncomfortable because you want to break out of them. You want to do something different. You want to go to yourself. So they start to say, no, 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 you're okay. You're doing better than Sally. You're doing better than Jim. You know, all those kind of people. They, they say that kind of stuff to make you feel like, oh, well, I am okay. But it also helps them to stay in their place. Um, because then they don't have to work any harder. They don't have to come out of their circle of sameness. Proverbs 24, 3 to 6, but especially verse 6. Um, reads by wisdom a house is built by understanding it is made secure and by knowledge its rooms are filled with all kinds of costly and pleasant possessions a wise man is strong yes a man of knowledge grows in strength verse 6 for with clever strategy you wage your war and victory comes from having many advisors and these advisors obviously have to be wise we're not just talking about any and anybody because we'll have advisors that will instruct us to 
stay where we are it's fine don't upset the apple cart don't rock the boat and all that kind of stuff no 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 it's time <laughs> it's time to fix up when you you know when it's time to fix up you know when you feel uneasy you don't feel comfortable you know that there's something more um go for it find those advisors create that community that's going to uplift you and help push you forward and excel i'm telling you when you have the right community around you exponential growth happens yeah. number three is conviction conviction is a firmly held belief or opinion so this is this goes this relates to your mind to your mindset now and maybe this should have been number one but they're in no specific order anyway but this one is about your mind so what things do you hold to be true and, but this is where we have to start doing some internal work um what we, like some deep work and figuring out what things are actually working for us and what things are working against us we didn't get to choose a lot of the stuff that we have that we carry with us we didn't pack our own bag right let's use this analogy of our life or us being the suitcase and as we've been growing um lots of people our situation circumstances family friends everything school work have been packing things into the suitcase for us for our final destination we are going to the bahamas I can't wait i want to go there one day so we're going to the bahamas and the suitcase is packed for us and they said to us um don't worry you've got everything you need in there once we get to the <laughs> we get to the our destination we get to our hotel room we're like yeah just ready to change my clothes and you know just want to get in the shower and change up and go walk on the beach and you open up the suitcase to get a swimming costume and there's a big fur coat in there and a big woolly hat and there's mittens and there's a scarf and there's snow boots not a swimming costume in sight not a sun hat in sight no sun cream no flip flops no nothing why because it's been packed for somebody it's been packed for for you but by people that thought that they knew what you needed now it's time for us to be unpacking that suitcase it's now rather than later now it's late now but now's the time for us to be unpacking that suitcase and figuring out what are our real convictions what are the things that are serving us what things aren't serving us we need to repack this suitcase we need to get it's gonna get ugly it's gonna get ugly let's unpack the suitcase let's get it sorted out repack it with the things that we need in it so that we can move forward and let me just tell you this give you the scripture romans 12 verse 2 and it says in other words do not let yourselves be conformed to the standards of this world instead keep letting yourselves be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you will know what god wants and will agree that what he wants is good satisfying and able to succeed he wants us to succeed he wants us to succeed we need to repack these bags let's renew our mind this monday morning let's renew our mind i've given you a few scriptures they're not the be all and end all there are many more scriptures in here but this is just a little morning manner for you all right so i hope that that was helpful remember comparison is the thief of our joy we don't compare ourselves to anybody else we compare ourselves to ourselves and we <laughs> we compare ourselves to ourselves and we pray that we will be better than we were before and number two number two number, number, number two is com number two is community and um, remember our communities can make or break us let us pick the right people to have around us we don't want to be in that circle of sameness we want to break out of that and we want to achieve we want to excel we want to soar exponential growth that's what we want and number three number three is conviction conviction is a firmly held belief or opinion let us renew our minds starting today let's renew, renew our minds thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week monday i do hope that this was encouraging for you mommy and we'll see you again for another monday morning manner next week monday tune in stay tuned see you next week monday bye you didn't say bye bye she wants to say bye Say bye. 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 See you. See you. See you.
was helpful for you. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. All oh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you want to do it? Don't know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.